What's going on YouTube? I'm John and today I'm going to show you guys this beautiful park and tell you guys more about why our electrical system is unique and how it will power things like our AC unit, hot water heater and so much more. Before that though, let's play some hack. So we have a 24 volt system instead of a 12 volt system that you typically will see in RVs. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for that, but the main reasons are that we wanted to be able to have enough energy because we're gonna be powering all these high intensity items. And also we wanted to be able to have something that will last us a while. And our system that we have now uh, can charge and recharge for I think 2,000 cycles so that should last us for a long time. So in order to power things like an AC, microwave and hot water heater your battery bank has to be big enough to be able to handle it. So how do you know if your battery bank is big enough to handle it and how do you know how long you can power these appliances for? Well that's what I'm going to show you right now. So in our case we have a 24 volt system with a nominal voltage of 26.4 which is the actual usable energy inside this battery and it has 180 amp hours so once you have these two pieces of information you can multiply your voltage by your amp hours and it'll give you the total amount of watts inside this battery. So in our case, the total amount of watts is 4,752. So once you know that, you multiply that by the number of batteries you have. So we have two batteries. So we multiply it by two. And the total, so the total number of watts inside a whole battery bank is 9,504. And that's the total amount of watts that you have in your whole system. So now you take an appliance like the AC and then you figure out how many watts it takes it for it to run and we found out that it, our AC takes 1,270 watts when it's running. So now what you do is you figure out how many times does 1,070 go into this number, our total amount of watts. And if you do uh, the division you find out that we can run our AC for roughly 7.5 hours. So just to compare this with a 12 volt system, if we had the exact same batteries, but they were 12 volt. So if we had it at 180 amps as well, and we did 12, so we do our 12 times 180 which equals 2160 and if we multiply that by our battery bank which is 2 we get a total of 4320 for total watts in the whole system so as you can see if we had a 12 volt system it would be about half of the amount of usable energy than the 24 volt system so this is just calculating if we're only running the AC alone. So the time might vary if we're running other appliances as well. So you guys can use this method to figure out how long you guys can power all sorts of items like microwave and hot water heaters. But just keep in mind that this doesn't include anything like solar panels and alternators because that uh, will keep charging the system at, at different rates. and. This is just by the batteries themselves. So when we first started looking at online at different options for our system to see what was out there, we didn't really find much that could power an AC off the grid or microwave. So if you guys are curious on how that is done specifically, like with schematics and wiring diagram, we have that info now because we've been through it. So if 
If you guys want to learn more about that, go ahead and check out our website and also follow us on Instagram. We post a lot of information in there regularly about our, our van and just what we do in general. That's it for this video. Subscribe to our channel to see future videos and we'll see you next time.